Yo, what's going on with y'all? It's your boy Neo XO bringing y'all a predictions video for Black Clover Chapter 278. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications on. And with that being said, let's hop right into the video. <laughs> So usually we get a chapter every week, but Black Clover took a week off. So to me, what that should mean is we're about to get a banger chapter. I feel like since Tabata had a little break that he's coming back with the fire, that's usually what happens whenever Black Clover takes a break. Whenever he has a break, like the next chapter after the break is always absolute flames. Hopefully it's a little longer. Chapter 277 felt longer and some people told me that in the comments that it felt longer to them too. It felt long to me too. I like that. Like it really felt like in chapter 277 we got a lot of substance. Now with chapter 278, I picture that we're going to see a little bit of the aftermath of Charlotte just absolutely bodying Majicula and Vonica from chapter 277. Like remember she basically just used Majicula's curse power against her and put her inside of all these briars and she's basically inside of a briar cocoon i guess if you want to call it that now i do think that that cocoon thing that majecula and vonica is in i do think that she's going to break out of that simply because if you guys remember a while back second aid did something similar and trapped her inside of her ceiling magic and she was seemingly trapped but she broke out of that so i can see her breaking out of this too it's kind of like sort of the same concept it's not the same magic type but the concept is the same she's trapped and i picture she's going to break out of there if she doesn't break out in the next chapter she's going to break out at some point in the future because we know that noelle has to go fight her at some point noelle has to go fight her and we know that charlotte is not going to be the one to defeat vonica so i wonder what's actually going to happen now it's possible that majicula and vonica just use more devil power even though, you know, it's kind of stated that sometimes they can't use the full extent of their devil power. Like they can't go all the way to 100. But who's to say in a dire situation, they can't do that. We see Asta did it before with the anti-magic devil Lieb. Like he did it before. He basically sacrificed his arm. So now Lieb kind of, you know, took his arm for a little bit. And y'all know what I'm talking about. And Asta, that's how Asta got the new arm. He basically sacrificed that arm to get the power so maybe they go a little bit more you know powered up from the devil and Vonica has to sacrifice something you know maybe she sacrifices her left eye or something like that just to be able to use more devil power in order to break out of that but I don't even think that the chapter is going to be 100% focused on that either two things are going to happen either she's going to break out or she's not going to break out next chapter so if she doesn't break out last chapter I suspect that it's going to be a Xenon situation how you know kind of hit him with one shot and kind of knocked him down in chapter 276 and then in chapter 277 at the beginning we see xenon still on the ground so we might see majicula still in the cocoon in chapter 278 she might still be in there and then it'll switch over to something else kind of like it did with chapter 277 how it started with xenon and then it switched over to majicula so it might start with majicula and vonica and then switch over to dante now if it does actually switch over to dante we are going to see knocked go against dante and that's going to be a very interesting match because we have yet to see knocked go 100 percent full out we did see knocked go fight against Asta during their training and Asta kind of overpowered him once for the most part knocked overpowered Asta every single time but the thing about Asta is Asta honestly is just different he's special Asta is actually special now I know a lot of people say Asta is not special because he doesn't have magic in the world of magic but he has proven people time and time again that he's something special and he's just different even Lara Petrica thinks that he's special. I remember in one chapter, she basically said that what makes him special is his hard work and tenacity or something like that. You guys know what I'm talking about. And that's basically what makes Asta special. So now going back to Nocto, Nocto is basically gonna fight against Dante. And this is gonna be interesting. Like I can't predict the outcome of the match. I just know they're gonna fight. I really just know that they're gonna fight. And I really don't know who would win, but it seems like Jack is going to be teaming up with Noct. What we've gotten so far was usually one person fight and then the second person support. So Noct's magic seems like it'll be more 
geared towards supporting than Jack's magic. I can't really see Jack supporting. Jack likes to attack. Jack is like a very heavy attacker and Jack is actually at an advantage against Dante if you ask me because you know Dante has body magic he's gonna try not to use body magic we know this about Dante because he basically said that body magic is ugly and he don't want to use it so he's probably gonna try to win with only gravity magic but if we were going off of what we know about Jack and Noct there is no possible way that Dante is going to be able to defeat them with using only one magic you know what I mean because it's two against one and that's what kind of made it even out so far it's always two against one against one of these dark triad members because the dark triad members have two magic types so it's kind of like you have one person to deal with each magic type so it seems like Jack is going to be really good at dealing with Dante's body magic because Dante just like grows these large limbs and jack could just slice straight through those because we know that jack can basically slice through almost anything i think that jack and noct actually have a good chance of defeating dante but there's a chance that dante might win because if dante loses now it's gonna be like dang every time we see dante now he always loses and it's kind of like dante has to show himself and he has to prove himself especially after losing to Asta you know Asta is not a captain and this is a vice captain and a captain that he's gonna have to go against I can see like a couple different scenarios playing out like possibly Dante just, just gets defeated like he just straight up gets defeated just like Vonica and just like Zenon now I don't even want to say defeated but he just loses he just isn't off to a good start let's just say like that because I don't even think Zenon and Vonica lost I just think that they're off to a very bad start and that brings me to another point it kind of reminds me of those chapters with luck leopold and charmy kind of how they beat their opponent but then their opponent got back up i think something similar is going to happen where these characters are going to beat their opponent seemingly but the person that they're fighting against is actually going to get back up because we've seen tabata write that before whenever the dark disciples got back up and kind of blew up the heart kingdom so i know you guys remember that it seemed like they had one then they just resurrected and just blew up you know they just it's just how it is it's kind of like a plot twist i guess you want to say you think things are going one way and then it goes the exact opposite so yeah that's basically what i think is going to happen like i really want to see knocked win though because knocked is one of my favorite characters and i want him to be op honestly because we seen how op charlotte is did you guys see how op charlotte was in chapter 277 same thing with you know you know is loved by men or like that is really op so i want to see knocked be really op and also i'm focusing a lot on Knox because i really like him as a character but i know a lot of people actually like jack too i like jack too i didn't always like jack but after episode 151 of the black clover anime i think that's the episode where they all fought like the captains fought i'm really a jack fan but yeah that's pretty much all i have for you guys today in this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and leave a thumbs up comment and subscribe as always it's been your boy neo xo and i'm out